All right. Good morning, guys. So we're going over to the rent house. There's a guy coming out to look at the stove. In 500 feet, turn right anyway, down to American Drive. up the charge. And no, I haven't put on FSD yet. Now turn right onto American Drive. I've barely got the Marble Falls uh, upload done. I just haven't finished doing all the YouTube things you're supposed to do. Like saying it's for public viewing. In 500 feet, turn right onto Boggy Board Road. Anyway, I mean, we'll get there soon. Now turn right onto Boggy Board Road. So I'll, I, I'm going to stay with the format of just give you the highlights and we'll go from there. Boom. Yeah. Okay. FSD on. Hey guys, welcome aboard. We're about to exit the construction zone here. And there's a totally behind me wants to make sure that he is the focus of the ice comparison notes. Alright. Will you take a right turn signal today? He has taken the right turn signal. Just thought about it for a while. So what we got here? Sequoia! The Toyota Sequoia. I mean, however you say that. That'll be your ice comparison vehicle today. Yes, and why, why, why him? As we're starting to enter the more active construction zone, he's flying up. It's bear in mind it's been 45 miles an hour already, and he's flying up on me. And you know, if I hadn't looked at him several times. He probably would have come up right on my bumper. Maybe he's just smart enough to know that if you're going to start, you're about to start tailgating somebody and they look in the mirror at you, that means they're about to slow down. And yes, I was about to slow down. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. That'll be your comparison. All right, well, I just caught FSD in the, you know, first time driver type deal so this left turn we're making here there's actually another little section that opens up for left turn before it and there's a temptation to go into that first and then when you get to the end of that then you go oh wait it didn't keep going so FSD just made that a uh, little mistake it's veterans memorial park okay it's actually both words Anyway, there you go. Uh, not really a big deal. Uh, I just did a break on the stuff off and took care of it. And and usually, once you call it out to FSD once or twice, they figure it out and somehow fix it. But I'm kind of surprised we're having to do it for another version of FSD because I would have thought it'd be a map change. Anyway, I'll run up recharge. All right, guys. So last time, a couple of times, game came here in Opare. We went down to Plano. Uh, today he's going down to Sunny, which is the way I normally would have come in before. Uh, now, I don't know what changed, but Drive. there it is. And we'll see what he does when we go down Sunny. Now there is there is a road up here that I normally like to turn on. Yeah, it's, he wants to go to Hamilton's Way. But there's a road up here that you can turn on and it got, it comes in on the same side of the street as the house is on. 500 feet, turn left onto Hamilton's Way. So we'll probably do that interruption. Now turn left onto Hamilton's Way. Yeah, I'm not going to turn on Hamilton's way. I'm going to turn on Brooks. If you want to know why I interrupted, you can see what 
what the actions are. I'm talking to about the FSD people, not you guys, obviously. Oh, you see, you can kind of see what I'm doing in the camera. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. Okay, that sounds good. Now your destination is on the oh, right. Looks like my friends are already here. <laughs> yeah, it figures. All right, so he's going to signal. He's going to park here. At least I assume that's what he's doing. Down to zero. I think we're parked. Thank you. So it looked like he was considering moving on. All right, 19 miles, 34 minutes, 223 watt hours per mile. There you go. All right, guys. Uh, how do I get rid of that? Okay, get rid of this. So where are we? Whoops. Trips. So uh, we took a lunch break down at Subway. I didn't include. I didn't do that separately, but we'll catch up. Anyway, time to go home. That will be six kilowatts, so it should be around twelve by the time I get home. Anyway, and we're up with charge. Oh, uh, little Miss Avalon over here. Oh my God, she almost got hit. Okay, sorry. Uh, this, I, I don't know what that lady's thinking. Maybe she felt like she was in the 15 mile per hour speed zone. Anyway, the secondary reason for waking y'all up is it occurred to me it's 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Uh, there's a possibility one of these school zones might be active. But not that I want it to be, but just in case it is, at least I'm recording, so we'll capture it. Oh. She's not even behind me anymore. She must not be going very far. Whatever. Peace and harmony. I mean, there are some people who are, are behind the driver wheel advertisements for why you want robotaxi. Okay, this school zone is active. And this is that elementary school. Okay, the traffic in front of me is going 27, but there was no reaction here. Okay, so we did not obey the school zone. And now these cars are turning, I'm free to accelerate. And we're up to 42 before the sign. Okay, so that's the elementary school. Uh, William Weekly, whatever it is. And over here is Running Brushy Creek. And I can see that light's also flashing. That's a 30 mile per hour speed zone. And we're not having any reaction at all. Did not respect an active school zone. Whoops. Yeah, there you go. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto West okay. Oak Drive. Well, that's a shame. I didn't want to do that, but there it is. But I won't post a separate one. I've already posted a separate one for uh, William Winkley, although it might have been for actually for running Brushy Creek Middle School. But you know, six one half dozen the other, what's the difference? Oh, you're 
first thing when you go over to the left, where are you? All right, so uh, let me put you back to sleep and I'll get back to you later. Okay, welcome to Dumb FSD Hour. I don't know, this, this uh, Subaru in the left lane, he was behind me, but because FSD decided he had to be in the outside lane behind this Lexus, I think it is, um, we're going slow. Come on, man. Actually, we're going speed limit, but... What? Why? Why do you do that? Let's see, what is it, 324? Not that it matters much. We already failed on the school zone act question. Whatever. So, Mr. Subaru, when we we're out on the 1431, he's kind of hanging around behind me in the inside lane, out in the outside lane. And uh, I finally just put my phone accelerator to turn my turn signal and got in front of him. Because he wasn't going to pass me. I don't know why, it just wasn't. So, hey, if, if, you, if you know who you are and you're listening, why did you do that? Okay, how about if we turn a left turn signal? Let's see if he'll take it. He has taken a left turn signal. We're now in the inside lane. Of course, now we're following the Subaru, but whatever. Peace and heart. Okay, so I can see the lights about to turn red. There's red. Which probably means he has to go to the right. What? Is he finally learning? It could be FSD is finally learning. Or this version of FSD. It is a WRX. Loads of people waiting in line at the elementary school. Does that mean the lights are flashing? Yep. Elementary school zone is active at 326. He's stuck behind two cars going slower, but before he couldn't flow like that. I don't know. In one mile, turn right onto Boggy Board Road. You know, it, it's a habit that has been ingrained in me for years. Um, for what? 40 something years? And now you're asking me not to put my hands on the wheel. Yeah. Ah! Or are you suggesting I don't have to? Maybe that's a more appropriate way to say it. Whatever, peace and heart. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy my car has a version of FSD that can do this. Not always great, but it's sort of there. It is a hardware three car, though. 
so that that's becoming more and more of the question. Um, whatever, we'll get to that later. Oh, he's on his way to the gas station. Oh, this pickup must Road be a diesel. And this WRX is heading out towards Point Venture. Okay. Sorry, way too long there. Okay, but even now, now he still won't go uh, speed up. And this poor lady in the Mazda behind me going, how come he's going so slow? You understand, I want to go faster. Well, see, it's like this. I'm running FSD, and FSD is real scary cat sometimes. Right? Yes, sir. I wonder why they didn't buy this place. Well, that probably all the money sucked out. Oh, oh, what a sharp curve. Oh, my goodness. I can't handle it. Maybe that's what Elon means when he says it's better than the human driver. Because the human driver would just go around the curve. <laughs> no, I'm not going down Lindbergh Lane today either. Sometimes, sometimes it works exactly the way it's supposed to. Sometimes it goes stupid. You just don't know. Pretend like you're going somewhere. That looks really hard. Maybe you should have got a car. Right? He's going around that curve, the, the left turn, going, Ooh! Come on, man. Come on. FSD even handles that better, usually. Alright, so I don't know if you picked up on it, but I do have workaround, two workarounds for going slow. The first is, put your front foot on accelerator, bring them up to speed. And even if he f gradually falls off, at least he kind of gets there to some extent. The second part is 
bump the speed limit, the max speed, up a couple miles an hour to try to encourage him to go. What? Y yes. You're right. It just feels like if it is supervised, my hand needs to be there ready to take over. No, lady, my answer to you, because she's like, well, yeah, if that's FSD, that's really poor turning. Well, but FSD would not follow you as close as you're following me. At least not normally. Ugh. Right, she was following pretty close. Especially when I turned. And there was not really reason to follow close. Did they all go away on vacation, left the truck sitting there? In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. Destination is on the left. My destination is on the left. Okay, left turn signals on. He's going to turn into the driveway. Although he's going to be slow and jerky about it. What was that? Did it sound like it bombed out? But I find it hard to believe it would have bombed out there. Okay, so human driver had to push the uh, car along. Take over immediately. Whoops! What? We're crashing! Oh no! Okay, whatever. And we can turn that off. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. FSD, for not doing anything useful. So, I guess you could say that he felt like something was wrong. He just didn't understand things. Whatever. Peace and army. Alright, 19 miles, 34 minutes, 205 watt hours per mile. Um, yes, it's 89 degrees. We're using a bit more air conditioning. That's true. Uh, so the trip is 46 miles. Makes sense. Uh, so there was a little extra mileage from going to Subway. Uh, 10 kilowatt hours. Average energy is 222 watt hours per mile. All right. So, you know, other, other than going a bit slow at times, most of the time FSD is just fine. Okay? But, unfortunately on, uh, on, I forgot the name of the street. Lake Line? Is it Lake Line? It's Baghdad. Unfortunately along Baghdad, there were two active school zones. So your grade for today is an F. Um, Otherwise, it probably would have been a B, right? I mean, most time it was it was pretty good. Other than he's really scared to go anywhere. The the entry into the driveway, I mean, at least he started it. He needs more practice to get it right, but they'll come eventually. Okay, so there we go. Um, we already covered that, so his grades enough. Yeah. So total energy for today. For Mr. Toyota, it's a dollar ten. Um, gas prices are a mixed bag. Really? Okay, let's call it two fifty. Okay, gas price for today we we'll call it two fifty, and we'll go from there. Uh, we're up for charge. All right. So today's comparison is a Toyota Sequoia, and while this may have been an older model that drove by, they're available in twenty twenty four apparently. All right, so today's trip, 46 miles, 10 kilowatt hours. You know what that is, right? 10 kilowatt hours, $1.10. With gas at, uh, what's over here? I'm covering it. With gas hanging around $2.50, that means we use the equivalent of 44% of a gallon of gas, or unleaded. 
All right, so the Toyota Sequoia, at least what I looked up, said 20 miles per gallon. And it has a 22.5 gallon tank. So for that Toyota Sequoia, driving for the cost of energy, <laughs> okay, 8.8 uh, .8 miles, All right? Comparing that to 46, yeah, not going to work, is it? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't look up a reference to tell you how far that is. I assume that's sort of around uh, Terra, not Terra Vista. Wherever that place is out there by Nameless. Okay. But let's say Mr. Sequoia is insulted because I'm saying, ha ha, you can't go that far. Or he says, hey, wait. I, I can drive that far. Okay. It would take him 2.3 gallons. And at $2.50 per gallon, that's $5.75. Okay. What if, if you gave me $5.75, I could get 52 kilowatt hours and drive 208 miles. Yes. Compare that for a moment. To go for him to go 46 miles, I go 208. Okay. Going back and looking at the tank, empty to full, or whichever way. Well, it's empty to full to fill it up, right? So it costs you $56.25 to fill it up at $2.50 per gallon. Okay. He can go 450 miles on that at 20, mi 20 miles per gallon. He can go. 450 miles. Turn around that $56.25. I can get 511 kilowatt hours. Which means I can drive 2,044 miles. At what point does this stop making sense? I, I don't know. I will say something though here. The Sequoia it is, I guess, max capacity. Eight, eight people can sit in it. So... It is a people mover if that's what you need. Although I recently did a thing on the Yukon XL and I haven't put up the other part of the uh, robo taxi answer to that, but I'm working on it. Anyway, uh, the price starts at $63,000. Okay, so you're paying $20,000 more to get this vehicle to start. Compared to a Model Y. Compared to a Model Y. Okay. Now, Model Y, not that I'm recommending it, but you could put a third row in the Model Y. It costs uh, $2,300, I think. But, I mean, that, that's that's a space that's only small people fit in it. I mean, have I gotten into it? Yes. I didn't sit in it while somebody was driving, but I did get back. All the way into that back seat. I mean, it was uncomfortable to get into. It was uncomfortable to get out of. Um, I don't know of anybody who would disagree with that. Um, the other part I was looking for was the safety ratings, and for some reason I couldn't find them. But it's a truck. Trucks don't have safety ratings usually. Okay, there you go. Um... And to think this guy in a 45 mile per hour speed zone that was active construction, so double fines if, if the cops were patrolling at that time. And to be fair to him, well, no, wait. There actually was a Travis County deputy that came by about halfway through that speed zone. Of course, by that time, he's following somebody who's going slow, so it doesn't matter. Um, and he was definitely somebody who deserved a ticket for the way he was driving. Okay. But, I mean, here's the point, right? When they say you can get 20 miles per gallon, that's somebody who's doing a range test. So the real question to you is, you're flying through a speed zone. Are you really getting 20 miles per gallon? Probably more like 18 or 17. Yeah. Okay, whatever. 
peace and harmony. Uh, I, part of me wants to laugh and part of me is like, that's pretty pitiful. Come on, man. You can do better than that. All right. Onward, upward, charge. <laughs>